Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told a London think tank on a video call that Mariupol will never fall to the Russians because there is nothing there to fall apart, adding there is no structure left. 50 civilians were evacuated Friday from Mariupol's besieged steelworks, the last pocket of Ukrainian resistance against Russian forces in the city, Kyiv said, but reports of renewed firing cast doubt on a promised truce. About 200 civilians, including children, had been estimated to still be trapped in the Soviet-era tunnels and bunkers beneath the sprawling Azovstal factory, along with a group of Ukrainian soldiers making their last stand. But the Ukrainian army says Russian assault operations have continued by ground and by air. Ukraine's Azov battalion, leading the defense at Azovstal, accused Russian forces of firing during an attempt to evacuate people by car. Ten weeks into a war that has killed thousands, destroyed cities and uprooted more than 13 million people, defeating the resistance at Azovstal and taking full control of strategically located Mariupol would be a major win for Moscow. It would also be a symbolic success as May 9 approaches, the day Russia celebrates the Soviet victory over the Nazis in World War II. Ukrainian officials believe Moscow is planning a May 9 military parade in Mariupol, possibly with Ukrainian prisoners on display, the Kremlin Friday however denied plans for Victory Day celebrations in Mariupol, flattened by relentless Russian bombardment.